I came across some solutions for DCC++ problems that modelers have been having. And so, let's see what they are. I'm Tom Govichak, and in the past month I've been communicating with a few modelers through email about some issues that they were having with DCC++. Now I gave them a few ideas to go over and they tried a few things and we were going back and forth. What they found when they were doing their research was something else other than the problem that they had and they shared it with me. Now the original problem was with JMRI, the 308 error, which is cannot communicate with the locomotive. And most of that is because of lack of power. And I ran into this issue before and I, I've been telling everybody just increase your voltage a little bit because I had a couple of monitors that had that problem and that's what resolved their problem. They gave me the solution. The one we're talking about is more power. How do you get more amperage out of your DCC decoder? Now I've been telling everybody you know, two amps on each channel, you may be able to bump it up to maybe three amps on the Arduino uh, motor shield. I said if you needed more power, go to the Palulu, which is three amps per channel, and with a maximum of five momentarily. Or if you wanted even more than that, go to the larger Palulu, which is five amps, and you could go up to maybe seven or eight momentarily. Or else go to Dave Bodner's website where he built his own high-powered motor shield for DCC++. I never ran more than maybe one or two on DCC++ because my model railroad back here is Digitrax. I have it all set up for Digitrax and the only thing that I was doing with DCC++ was testing. I never ran into any problems with maximum amperage, but I'm going to show you how you can increase the amperage on the sketch. I was going back and forth in emails with Jim Scanlon. He was having an issue with his DCC++. He was just getting started on it, converting over some of his uh, DC locomotives, putting decoders in them, and he was running into a problem with um, uh, actually questions about maximum amperage on the DCC++ base station. And, uh, and he was having a few other issues along the way and I was helping him out with it but the last one that he sent me which was uh, two days ago you can see up on there it says two days ago and he came up with a solution uh, I'm not quite sure where he found it but uh, at one point I pointed him toward the train board um, forum and he must have got it from there and what he says on there let me try to highlight this right here and it highlights almost everything. If you go into uh, File, Current Monitor to the line, uh, Define Current Sample Max 300, and change it to 750, that'll increase the current. So let me show what he's show you what he's talking about here. And I'll pull over this. This is the DCC++. And I have this set up for the Uno right here. I ha also have one set up for the Mega. But anyway, this is the page right here. This is the main page, DCC++. PP Uno, you go over to current monitor H. Okay, and it's originally set up for 300. And what he did was change that to 750. And let's compile that. And that's all you have to do once you compile it uh, to the new figure. Upload it to your Arduino Uno. And you have an increased amperage available on your Uno. I don't know what, re what for what reason he kept it at 300 and didn't use the maximum amperage available, but uh, uh, this is a good thing to know on here. You can get the higher Palulu motor, higher amperage Palulu motor shield. You can go to Dave Bodner's webpage. It's called trainelectronics.com, and you can see all the projects that he does on there. He did this project a long time ago, uh, boosting up the uh, DCC++. Uh, and here's all the DCC++ projects right here. He also has some other DCC projects on here. High power DCC option, and this is the one for the uh, this is the one for the DCC plus plus. But go to his page; uh, he has the project on there, and it looks like all he did was uh, added a transistor, a two n two 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 two, and two resistors to boost up the uh, 
the one motor shield that he has right here and here is his video you could watch the video on there also so take a look at dave bonders if you want even more power one of my viewers was watching a live broadcast where i was talking about a breakout board for the computer power supply and he says he uses that one and he also uses a boost converter on it to operate his DCC++. And I said, hey, that's a great idea. So I'm going to try that out. And what I did was I found this and I, I demonstrated this a little bit in another live show, but this is what I got right here. It's a little boost converter and it'll take the 12 volts off of the computer power supply and put it on and boost it up to anything up to about 30 volts on there. Now this, and you could on this particular one here, and I'll show you uh, what it is. Uh, you could also adjust, adjust the maximum amperage output on there also. So let's talk about that also. So here we go. I'm going to give you a shot of this right here. I have a 20 pin ATX connector in here. If I had a 24 pin in here, I'd be able to use the second 12 volt plus pin on here but since I don't have the 24 pin I have to put both these wires in one of the 12 volts now I'm only using the second 12 volt for the mega because I'm not hooking it up to the computer now this barrel plug right here will take anywhere from 7 to 12 7 to 20 volts but it says if you use more than 12 volts on it the voltage regulator might heat up and if you use more or if you lose use less than seven volts the five volt pin output may not be at five volts it may be less than five volts okay so we have the power for the uh mega and i'm going through this power booster i have 12 volts coming in and i have approximately 18 volts coming out going to the palulu now on the palulu you can see that the power leads are in the center now on a conventional motor shield like an arduino motor shield which is right here the power leads are on the end so that's the only difference on there now the reason i'm using the palulu is because it's three amps maximum five amps per channel so with this uh breakout board here you can see that i have power on it the led is lit up now i'll press the button on it and you can see the green light comes on on there the lights come on on the mega and on the palulu so both of them are lit up now let me check the voltage on the palulu and you can see it on the meter here 17.93 volts now there is an adjustment screw on here there's two adjustment screws on here the close one is for voltage the outer one is for amperage i'm going to show you the voltage one right here i'm just going to stick my leads on it and show you how easy it is to adjust the voltage on this booster and you got to make sure that you have a screwdriver that is small enough see i'm bringing it down just barely let me bring it back up see how close i can get to 18 volts now it's real sensitive even if i press down on the screwdriver a little bit it changes the value on it so that tells you how sensitive it is so I'm just using the weight of the screwdriver right here as I'm increasing it. So there we go. 18, 18.01. This is a pretty good power booster here and I'll show you the data on it. And I got this through uh, Amazon and you can get this through my Amazon page. But this is the one thing that you could use on here. Now, normally instead of putting this plug on here, You'd be putting up your USB going to your computer using JMRI. And that's where you could use your throttle 
the JMRI throttle and you could use your cell phone throttle on there and I have videos on using the JMRI with your cell phone. You can also use it with your Raspberry Pi. Now this is a USB 2 on here. It's a little bit smaller and I would go with a, a wall word on this one because usually when you buy a Pi they usually come with with the kit with a wall work on it. But anyway, what you what you would do on here is you would hook one of these USB cables over to this USB cable here on the uh, Mega, this USB right here to a USB on here, and you can control your DCC++ with your Raspberry Pi. And you can also load Raspberry Pi, or you could also load JMRI on your Raspberry Pi. And I showed that to you in a video on the Raspberry Pi. Now on the breakout board, you also have 3.3 volts and 5 volts on there. because, And then you could use a lot of your Arduino projects on there. Use this as power for your LEDs. A lot of times you, you, want, you have multiple LEDs on, on one pin. When you do that, you have to have ex external power on it. So you can get that external power from here. And on, on these computer power supplies, the most uh, amperage available on the voltages here are, is the 3.3 and the 5 volts. So you got plenty of power on here to run your projects with your LEDs with the 3.3 and the 5 volt. Here is the page for the DC boost converter. So Yiko 600 watt 12 amp DC to DC setup converter board. On here there is a place, there's a jumper right here. And if you, and the instructions are right here, short circuit that it is if you jumper the two wires on there you it's uh six nine to sixteen volt on the input if you leave the jumper off of those two pins right there it's 12 to 60 volt dc input you can find that on my arduino projects page right here it's the first one up there it's and you can see it right there now the other one is on my influencer page is the um breakout board and it's electronic salon 24 20 pin ATX DC power supply breakout board module and as you can see on there you have your pins terminals on each side for the connector right here but you can find both of these on my Amazon page either the influencer page for the uh, the breakout board or the Arduino projects page for the boost converter on there and if you while you're at it you can take a look at uh, all the other stuff that's on there all the videos that I've done I have the projects on there components parts and everything else that I use on everything that I do in my videos and I also have some uh, things on here that I use on my production like the X keys and the, the lights and the um, this is a conver HDMI converter uh, wireless microphone uh, stabilizer a lot of different things on here that uh, might be helpful to you uh, in whatever you do this is the the tool that I use to make the uh, square corners on the module so take a look at it uh, on my Amazon page uh, you'll find anything that you need on there and you don't even have to buy what's on there if you still uh, go on my Amazon page and then uh, uh, maneuver to a different page okay so this is my list right here you can go to a different page and uh, sh shop for anything else and I'll still get credit for whatever you purchase I get a little percentage out of it so thank you very much as you can see, sometimes when we're working on some problems, we come up with more solutions than we have questions. So keep those questions coming because sometimes we'll figure out more than what we need to know. Keep an eye out for model railroading made easy. Keep that thought there. So until the next time, we'll see you.